Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of lecture series on SAM file format. I will continue from where we have left the discussion in first video on SAM file format. Therefore, I request viewer to watch the video lecture one on SAM file format before continuing with this video. Now let us display and examine the content of test.sam file that we have created in last video. Let me change this. I already have downloaded the file and stored that file into a folder called work. To visualize the content of the folder, you can use ls -l command. And here is our example SAM file. So in order to visualize the content of the SAM file, you can use SAM tool. SAM tools, view, hyphen h, then test.sam. Well, this will display the content of the SAM file. And this is how a SAM file looks like. Well, to display the content page wise, you can use, you can redirect the output of this command into another command called less with flag hyphen s. Here you can see the first section that is the header section of the SAM file. Each line in this section start with at the rate character. After header section is the alignment section of the SAM file. The alignment section contains 11 mandatory columns. This is, this, this is the first column of the alignment section, the second column of the alignment section, then the third, fourth, fifth column, sixth, seventh column, eighth, ninth, tenth column. Tenth column actually contained the read sequence itself. And in eleventh column, the quality, freight quality scores are stored for each reads. In alignment section, there can be additional optional column which may or may not be present in a SAM file. To get back to the Linux terminal prompt, you have to press Q key at the keyboard and it will take you back to the Linux terminal prompt. Now I would like to discuss how information is organized into the header section of the SAM file format. As we already have discussed, each header line in a SAM file format begins with the at the rate character. This at the rate character is followed by one of the two letter header record type code, which could be at the rate HD or SQ or RG or PG or it could be CO. Each header line in a SAM file format is a tab delimited and follows a tag colon value format. In our test.sam file here we can see the fields in header section are separated from each other by a tab in between them. This is the first field, this is the second field, this is the third field and this is the fourth field for the HD line. Only one HD line per SAM file is allowed. Multiple HD lines are not supported. The HD line can have VN, SO, GO or SS as a tag. VN tag is mandatory for HD line. If the HD line is present, then the VN tag must always be present. The value of the VN tag represents the format version of the SAM file. 
Asotec provide information about the sorting order of the alignment and the valid values that Asotec can acquire are unknown, unsorted, query name and coordinate. If the value of the Asotec is unknown, that means we are not sure about the sorting order of the SAM file. If the Asotec has the value unsorted, then we are sure that the file is not sorted. If the value of the Asotec is query name, then the lines in the alignment section is sorted according to the query name. And if the value of the Asotec is coordinate, then the reads in the alignment section or lines in the alignment sections are arranged according to the coordinate position where the read has been aligned with the reference. The geotag in HDLine represents the grouping of the alignment. That means it indicates if the similar alignment records are grouped together. The valid values for the geotag can be none, that means no grouping has been performed, or the value of the geotag could be query, that means alignments are grouped by the query name, or the value of the geotag could be reference. That means the alignments are grouped by the reference name. The fourth tag is in alignment section is SS, which represents the sub sorting order of the alignment. A comprehensive detail about the SAM file format and the description about the different fields can be obtained from the SAM file manual, which is available to download from the SAM tool GitHub page. This is the manual for the SAM file format. This PDF from the SAM tool GitHub page describes the SAM file format and my presentation is based on the information that has been presented in this PDF. As we can see, there is the header section description for the header section and also description for the tag and its value, permissible values. Based on the description of the HD line, now let us examine our example SAM file. For our example SAM file, the value for the VN tag is 1.0, that means the version SAM file format version is 1.0. The value for the geo tag is none, that means no grouping uh, of the read has, has been performed. The value, for the, the value for the SO tag is coordinate, that means each read or each line in an alignment section is sorted according to the coordinate position where the read has been aligned. Here in this alignment section, we can see the reads or lines are arranged according to the value of the coordinates where the read has been aligned with the reference. As we can see, the first read has the smallest value for the coordinate position and the last read has the largest value for the coordinate position. That means the SAM file is sorted according to the coordinate position where read has been aligned with the reference.